the GPT-4 is here and it's really exciting and scary at the same time. We all had those discussions about whether or not chat GPT will replace developers. And if you have settled most of those discussions with a no, then my friend, you need to reconsider your decision. Because what OpenAI just showed us yesterday is absolutely going to blow your mind. The OpenAI released a live video yesterday demonstrating their large language model called GPT-4. It was done by Craig Brockman, the co-founder of OpenAI. And if you are a developer, you will be scared by the things it can do. I'm not going to show you the whole video because you can watch that yourself. But what I want to discuss here are basically two things. The first one is really exciting, but the second one is going to blow your mind. Trust me. So as you can see on the screen, Greg was able to generate a fully functional Discord bot using GPT-4. He had some initial hiccups, uh, but he kept on feeding the error message that he got to the model and the model in the end was able to create a fully functional Discord bot. That was really impressive and really amazing. And then what he did is he took a picture of a mockup that he had literally drawn with his hand on a piece of paper. And then he fed it to the model and model was able to generate code for that mockup. So the model understood that he drew a mockup of a website and was able to generate HTML, CSS and JavaScript for and JavaScript code for that website, which just absolutely blew my mind. Let's watch it. Here, a nice hand-drawn mock-up of a joke website. Uh, definitely worthy of being put up on my refrigerator. So I'm just going to take out my phone, literally take a photo of this mock-up. So he just literally took a photo of the mock-up and he feeds it to the GPT-4 model. Remember that he created a Discord bot that connected with the GPT-4 API. And now he is using Discord to send this message to the API, which uses GPT-4 in the background and see what happens next. And so we can actually take now this output. So literally we just said to output the HTML from that picture. And here we go. Actual working JavaScript filled in the jokes. For comparison, this was the original of our mockup. And so there you go, going from hand drawn, beautiful art, if I do say so myself, to working website. As you can see, this is really, really impressive and really, really amazing. Uh, think of the potential of this technology that we just have in front of us right now. We don't know what we can do with it. Uh, the applications are endless. Uh, down the line in the future, when there is GPT-7 or GPT-10 or GPT-5, maybe <laughs> I'm not sure what's going to happen, but uh, yeah, it's going to replace a lot of our work. That's for sure. So let me know down in the comment section what you think about it. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace out.